Okay, so now we're head coming up to the uh, expressway entrance. Uh, in many ways, this is kind of like the uh, sort of like the fast track in uh, California. So the one on the right is ETC. That's like if you have the little machine, which I don't. So we're gonna go on the one on the very left. And now, when you just go in, press the button on the machine, and then uh, it'll give you a ticket, which you then put into the uh, machine when you get off the expressway, and that's how you pay the money. Okay, and we're off. All right, we're going to Yonizawa, so we're gonna make a left. We're gonna make a left and fork the road. We're gonna follow that truck basically. And before anyone gets to my case, I have the phone on a uh, sort of like a tripod on my dashboard. It's not gonna go anywhere, so don't worry. I am paying attention to the road. Something I should mention that driving on the left side of the road was a bit intimidating at first, but I, I managed to get used to it pretty quickly. Basically, the rule I always follow is, well, follow, follow the flow of traffic, basically. Just essentially just follow the just follow the flow of traffic. And you will be good. And we're coming up to a sign right there that says uh, the temperature, which is zero degrees Celsius. I believe that is uh, 30 degrees Fahrenheit. At nighttime, it can get well below negative three degrees Celsius. Uh, it, it gets very, very chilly here. It's just funny because last year when I was living in Sendai, I believe the lowest temperature I've ever had to go through was about 10 degrees Celsius. So <laughs> yeah, this is definitely a much colder climate than what I'm used to, both from California and from living in Sendai. Then Sunday we, we got snow, but it never really, never really stuck around for very long. Unlike here in uh, in Yamagata Prefecture, yeah, it's uh, yeah, the snow it, it gets pretty, it gets pretty plentiful here. Okay, so now we're coming up towards the exit of the expressway. This is where we're going to go to pay the, the toll. Since I, did, since I don't have the transponder, I have to go to the right and pay it by cash. If you had the little transponder machine, the little it's kind of like a little small box, put it on your dashboard, you can just go right through and it'll just automatically deduct it from your account. I look into that, apparently it costs you 300 bucks just to get that set up, and so I'm just like, eh, I'm fast. So anyway, we're gonna go into this uh, machine here, and I have the ticket in my hand. So we're gonna put it on that little slot right there on the right, and it'll tell me how much it is. This is the what the ticket looks like, by the way. All right, just wanted to show you that. Okay. 260 yen, which is about two dollars and sixty cents. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and pay the toll. Excuse me. Okay. I'm just going to give him my change. Okay. Well, let's go. Yep, and that's how the toll gates work. The snow is starting to pick up a bit here in Yonezawa. At least this time the roads are uh, relatively smooth. Or there's no snow on there. Not as much. I did go. I did. I did drive through here the other day when the snow was quite heavy on the roads. That was not fun to drive through. It's a good thing I got winter tires, but even then, the winter tires can only do so much. Can only do so much for you. you know, the key is just, uh, well, if there's like really heavy snow on the road, I just drive at grandma speed, go very slow, uh, brake much earlier, and try to keep at least one car, at least one, at least one car length between you and the car in front of you. Okay, so the first place we're going to go to today is called J.O. Hypermedia Shop. Now, I know it's G-E-O. I know that you're supposed to pronounce, uh, at least I keep pronouncing it as G-E-O. I still pronounce it to this day, but no, apparently Japanese people call it J-O. Um, it's, it's a Japanese language thing. But anyway, this is essentially the blockbuster of Japan. This is a video rental store. And as you can see right there, it's not just videos. You can do DVDs, games, CDs, and comics. And apart from the games, you can actually rent all of that for a certain amount of time. So you can rent movies, rent music CDs, comics, 
Unfortunately, you cannot rent games. It's a Japanese law that says you can't do that. Bit of a bummer, but you know, whatever. All right, let's uh, go inside, and I'll show you. I'll show you around. Here we are. All right, so first we'll take a look at the manga. So you can actually rent a certain vol for each volume. You can actually rent these out for a specific amount of time. There is a chart that shows you how much it costs to rent a manga book, which I will show you in a bit. But I just wanted to show you just it's they got quite a lot of manga here. Some of this I don't even think was ever released in America. At least I don't recognize some of these. I think I know this one. I think that one's Seven Deadly Sins, I think it's called. And then, well, obviously Dragon Ball. I know what Dragon Ball is. Yeah, they got a lot of stuff here. Here's some of the, some more of the manga here. Again, there's a lot. And like I said, as I mentioned just a little bit, some of this I don't even think was ever released in America. And if it was, I don't recognize it. Well, I mean, okay, this one's Fire Force. I know that one. That's Fairy Tale that's up there. Also very popular. So, yeah, and I want to show you, there's a chart right here. Here it is. So, if you want to know how much it costs to rent any of these. So, for two days and three nights, it's 66 yen, so about 66 cents. If, rent it, if you want to rent it for about a week, it's 88, it's 88 yen, or 88 cents. So, and, uh, yeah, pretty cheap, I must say. I've never rented any of these manga before because, uh, surprise, surprise, it's all in Japanese. So, there's no English manga here. My Japanese is getting much better. It's not good enough to read manga. Oh, they got Rent a Girlfriend up there. I've been wanting to get into that one because just the whole idea sounds very silly. We have uh, what's called shoujo manga. Basically, this is the manga for female readers. So it's very girly, as you can tell by the pink color. Lots of themes and storylines that attract, that are geared mostly towards younger female uh, readers. I know this series. That one's kind of. That's an interesting one. Uh, what is the name of this? I think it's called Kiss Him, Not Me. Oh, yeah. Actually, it says right here. It says uh, Kiss Him. Step. Let me focus. It says Kiss Him, Step. That one's pretty funny. I've seen a couple. I've seen the anime. A few episodes of that one. It's actually pretty funny. Here's a couple more of the manga that you could rent. You might be able to buy them, too. I'm not entirely sure. Appropriately, right next to the manga is the actual anime section. Well, I say anime, but anything that's animated is going to be in this these few aisles right here, which we'll take a look at in just a bit. Yeah, sometimes you see Japanese anime down there is a uh, not Japanese animated, so it could be American made. Just basically anything that's not Japanese. Oh, they got Haruhi up here. Jesus, that's a that, that anime is ten years old now, a little over ten years old. Sword Art Online is on there. Sword Art, I like Sword Art Online. I know a lot of people don't, or it's uh, yeah, it's kind of got a bum rap, but I like Sword Art Online. Oh, I like Sword Art Online fine enough. Do da da, that's a good one. Uh, well, they got Neptunia here. I've been wanting to get into that series for a while, but the problem with renting anime here is once again, it's all in Japanese. Maybe one or two Miyazaki movies might have might have English, but uh, yeah, if you want to rent anime here, uh, hopefully you know your Japanese. We got Higurashi here. Don't let the cutesy look fool you. It's actually a horror anime, pretty serious one too. Tripped me up first time I saw it. Here's some more anime here. Uh, B stars. B stars is actually really really good. Can't wait for the second season. Um, one thing you'll notice is that uh, for longer anime, like let's say Fairy Tale, it's broken up into several, several DVDs or Blu-rays, whatever. That's actually pretty common because here in Japan, Wi-Fi that's good enough for streaming is a bit of a luxury item. So what they like to do is come here, rent one of these DVDs which has like two, maybe three episodes on it, and then just watch it like that. So that's what they did here with Fairy Tale. We got bleach right here. Black clovers up there. So this is like the this is like the most popular anime going on right now. Uh, as you can tell, there's My Hero Academia. Uh, anything else here? Oh, they got Yu Yu Hakusho over here. 
that's <laughs> that's an oldie for sure uh yeah got the uh, loop on the third up there i saw that movie last year it was outstanding i'm so happy there's a there's now an english dub obviously not on the shelf but i believe it's streaming now i don't i don't recall on where though but yeah loop on the third is a great series if, you, if you've never watched it get into it it's really good we got one punch man so yeah i mentioned before how they're broke how certain anime series are broken up into several dvds they also do that with american tv shows i'll show you that in just a bit we got some more classic tiles there's fire force up here we got inuyasha a very absolutely classic anime do they have no they don't have yashihime at least not yet that makes sense it's still pretty newish actually more inuyasha down here initial d mm, good times yep. what the hell is this I've never seen this before. What in the hell? <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and put that back. Hey guys, do you like Magical Girl anime? Well, here's literally all of it. Yeah, they have a ton of Magical Girl anime, which I'm sure has never let the, has never reached America. Then on this wall over here. You like Power Rangers? Here's where, Jack, here's where Power Rangers came from. All the 9 million shows that they uh, took footage of and then reworked into Power Rangers. Yeah, this, these are all the classic uh, Super Sendai shows. I think that's what they're called. Sendai Rangers. I don't know. I'm not a Power Rangers guy. That's Ultraman. I recognize him. We also got a Yokai Watch. Remember when that was the thing? Then move over here. I don't know what the hell this is supposed to be. But I do know what this is. It's good old Pokemon. Again, it's all in Japanese, but yeah, they actually have the whole anime here. Oh god, surprised! I'm surprised, considering how long the anime's been on for. I'm surprised it doesn't take up this whole damn shelf. Detective Conan, the anime that never wants to freaking end. There's Dragon Ball Z over there, but Conan is very popular in Japan. Like I said, it has not ended yet. I think this show is well over 20 years old now. They're up to like well over 900 episodes. 900 episodes and he still haven't figured out he still has never found the guys who turned him into a kid makes no sense to me here we have a uh, anpan man he's a superhero whose head is made out of bread yeah that's it that's all you need to know it's a bread-headed superhero there's his buddy powder toast man and this is doraemon he is very popular in japan he's like the japanese mickey mouse you see him everywhere TV shows, games, movies, comic books, commercials. Yeah, the Raimon is everywhere here in Japan. I think over here is Shin Chan. Yes, it is Shin Chan. The English stuff for this show, especially the Funimation one, is hilarious. I absolutely love it. It's a shame that it never got popular in America. But here in, but here in Japan, Shin Chan is still very popular. Actually, one of these movies came out last year, this one. This one came out last year, so he's still getting movies. He's still getting TV show episodes. It's weird because in America, he only lasted like three three years at best. So yeah, here's the, the Disney section. Well, most of these are Disney movies, but occasionally you'll find one that's like not Disney, made by some other company, but eh, it's clo it looks close enough to Disney, so might as well include it. Here is the section for Demon Slayer, which is the anime here in Japan. You might have noticed a lot of these are missing or they've been rented out. So, yeah, it's crazy popular here. Here are the movies organized by genre. The organization is a bit weird because sometimes you'll see like newer movies like Aladdin. Oh, that's all. I guess it's a bestseller. But then you see older movies. Where is that? Home Alone's on there, Zombie Land's on there, the scary movies are on there, Johnny English. So, yeah, a little bit of a mix of everything. So, I'm sure one question you're going to ask is are these in Japanese? If it was a movie made in America or came out in America, there will be an English version uh, as well as a Japanese dub. But if it was a movie that originated in Japan or any other kind, like, so there's a couple of movies from Korea, 
then it would be in that language only. I don't, and it's unclear if they have subtitles or not. Sometimes it's just a big crapshoot. Oh, they put this movie out. I didn't think that would ever come out here in, in Japan. Because Japanese people don't know who Mr. Rogers is. He, he's not a he's not a household name like he is in America. So that, that's kind of cool. I'm glad they have Mr. Rogers out there. These are like really cheesy horror movies. Look, there's Killer Sofa. They got Aqua Slash. I don't know what this movie is, but some pregnant chick holding a knife. That can't be good. Oh, look, The Walking Dead. Ooh, not quite. It's The Running Dead. Running's not even spelled right, I don't think. No, it's not. What am I saying? No, we're not going in there, but yes, they do have those kind of movies that you can rent here too. Yeah, let's just move on. Here are all the American TV shows. So, you, like, just like you can with the anime, each DVD has like one or two episodes that you can rent, watch it at home, and then bring it back. Because, as I said before, uh, streaming or just Wi-Fi being good enough for streaming, it's kind of a luxury item here. In case you're curious, here's how much it costs to rent these uh, uh, these movies and DVDs. So four bucks, five bucks, six bucks. It all depends on what color the box is too. That's actually pretty important. I, that that's kind of a new thing. I don't I don't I don't recall that. I never I never noticed that before. I think that's just for the TV shows. But for movies, it all depends on how. So how for, to rent a movie, it costs about if it's in like an older movie, yeah, one dollar, two dollars for a week or two, for like one week. They've been doing a promotion where you can actually pay the one week price and you get it for two weeks. You can rent it for two weeks for the movies, which is pretty good. If it's a newer movie, then uh, it's gonna cost about eight bucks. Still not bad, but yeah. So you got The Walking Dead here, you got Green Arrow, or just Arrow, I guess. Uh, Westworld's up there, Walking Dead, NCIS. Like the many different versions of Law and Order. Or is this Law and Order? I can't even tell. No, elementary. No, it says right there. I'm stupid. The OC. Oh, God, that's an old one. Uh, down there is uh, Orange is the New Black. So, yeah, just about any like mainstream American show you can think of, they have it here. But it's like, it's mainly stuff that's been on like Fox or a Netflix show, HBO. Because I know Game of Thrones is on here somewhere. Actually, they might be on this wall. Because here's some of the other American TV shows. At least uh, Daredevil's there. This Is Us, that's surprising. I didn't think This Is Us would be here. Supernatural, Supergirl. Then on the other side of the wall, I think Batwoman's on there. Sex the City, 24. Pretty cool that they have this. You're able to rent American movies, or TV shows, I should say. Of course, they don't have anything like The Simpsons. They don't have Simpsons here. The fam Family Guy. I don't know. I don't know why Japan wouldn't have Family Guy here. I don't know what's so wrong about that show. But uh, yeah, so you know they don't have all the American shows, but it's a good chunk. They got Nine One One. That's a uh, that's a pretty intense show, I might add. This is where you can rent all of the uh, dramas, like all the Japanese dramas. I think some of these might be Korean dramas too. I'm not entirely sure. Cause I, I'm not really big on the whole drama scene. Okay, now we have the music CDs. Uh, here's J-pop. Don't ask me which artist is which. I don't know. So J-pop, they got rock and pops over there. I think that just means rock and pop music. I don't know what pops is. So it's mostly Japanese music, but then you see stuff like, you know, Linkin Park. So they do have American artists here. Uh, they also have Rihanna. I saw Rihanna right here. Uh, that's all. Oh, that's Rihanna. Oh, Rihanna. Okay, that makes sense. This is all Lincoln Park. Rod Stewart. I see Rod Stewart. Radiohead. Red Hot Chili Peppers. So you know you get so. Japan is. They do got a little bit of everything here. At least when it comes to the music CDs. Yeah, they got anime CDs here. From the music, Full Metal Alchemist. I think they have a few Tokyo Disneyland cities here too. 
All right, here are the video game systems that you can buy here. These are all used. Um, but the thing is, usually when you buy stuff used here in Japan, it's in pretty good quality, so it's not a bad price. Hello. So, got switch lights up there. Here's uh, the newest games or whatever. The newest game, best selling games. So, yeah. Dobotsu no Mori, or Animal Crossing, as we know it. Uh, here are the best-selling Switch games. So one thing I like about Switch games is that if it's a game like Mario or something that came out in America and it's very popular, it will be in English, which is good. So the PS4 games. Then over here we got the PlayStation 3 games, which are like dirt cheap, like Devil May Cry, that's $4 right there. Yeah, that's one thing I do like about living in Japan, is that uh, there were a lot of games on the PS3 that I didn't, I missed out on. So I can get them here for almost, for almost next to nothing and catch up on it, so that's pretty good. And uh, there's the Xbox, there's the Xbox section right there. That's literally it, that's it. Xbox is not popular in Japan, so... You'd be very, very lucky if you happen to see anything Xbox here. PlayStation Vita. <laughs> Remember PlayStation Vita? It's actually a nice system. It just doesn't really have too many good games for it. And all the good games are here in Japan. And they're in Japanese. So that's not great. Uh, rest in peace, Vita. Well, actually, it's been dead for many, many years, so... Yes, we got DS games time. So. It's not just modern consoles though, they also got stuff from like the Wii U, the Wii, all the way back to PS2. I've seen some GO stores, JO stores, even have PS1 games. Sadly, this place doesn't seem to have that, but Wii U games are pretty cheap ish because <laughs> unfortunately nobody has a Wii U. Here's all the Wii games, also pretty dirt cheap. Unfortunately, the Wii U and the Wii are region locked. So if you want to play Japanese Wii games, you need a Japanese Wii, which is pretty, pretty annoying. I'm so glad region locking is kind of becoming a thing of the past. The Switch is not region locked. The PS4 is not region locked. The PS3 wasn't region locked either. I don't know about Xbox. I think the Xbox is not region locked either. Here's some of the PSP games. PSP is region free, which is good because there are a few PSP games I want to try out, like Kingdom Hearts, Final Mix. I keep seeing this baseball game everywhere. It seems to be very, very popular. PS2 games over here. It's unfortunate that they don't have Twisted Metal here. I've been wanting to play Twisted Metal Black and Twisted Metal head on, but unfortunately, Twisted Metal never caught on back here in Japan. So, yeah, here's all the PS2 games. PS2 games are region locked, which is stupid. I hate it. So yeah, this section right here is usually what makes these stores great. Is just they have all sorts of retro games, and it's very, very usually pretty, pretty cheap. 